It's your right as a citizen to request records from any government agency. Legally, that organization has to provide you what you're looking for. In Williamson County, that's been easier said than done. New here at 10, Chris Cannon explains why. And Jessica, these are the public records requests so far this school year at Williamson County. The stack may not seem too large at first glance, but they've created an unprecedented problem in the county. 19 open records requests in a little more than four months. And I've never seen the number of requests nor the volume of, of the requests. Carol Birdsong says Williamson County school employees are working on a huge backlog of requested information. We're talking 300,000 to 350,000 emails. It's a lot of email that somebody has to go through. The biggest batch of those requests come from Common Core opponent Julie West. She wants emails dating back to 2010 from a long list of people. West inquiry alone is about 250,000 documents. 12th District Board Member Susan Curley also wants to see emails, about 2,500 of them. The volume, quite frankly, is overwhelming for one person. The district staff attorney is the person who fills these requests. He has to go through each and every email to remove any protected information. We need some help. We hope to move $9,000 from one account to another account so that we can pull in a paralegal. The school board needs to approve the money that would allow the district to try and break through the backlog. We're hoping that hiring a paralegal will help remedy the situation and will also help uh, fill the request. You know, that's our goal is to get the request filled and into the hands of the folks that want that want the information. It's easy for anyone to request information from a public entity. Apparently, it's not as easy to make those requests a reality. And this request here from Julie West is to view those 250,000 emails. She doesn't want printed copies of them. That would cost 15 cents a page or $37,500. Still, a staff member has to go through each document. As of today, the district's attorney has only gotten through 4,000 of the 300,000 requested emails. Jessica. Chris, thank you. The money the district wants to use to pay for a paralegal would come from a fund that already exists. That money would have paid for membership dues to an association the board decided not to join this year.